The next portion that I'm going to show you is called the reactivity series of metals. Now, the whole concept about metals is I already show you all the physical property. But none other than that, you must know how they range from the most reactive metal to the least reactive metal. So right now, I'm going to show you a table. Now, this table will be very, very effective for you in exam, okay? So it goes like this. K. N A C A M G A L Z N F E H C U N A G. Some of you will be saying, Wala, Miss Lelina, how you know that? K N C M A Z F H C U N A G. Wow, like, duh, 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 duh. how come you know this so well? Now, I'm going to give you an acronym for free. All right, so, ta da, that will help you to remember it. And I love acronym, okay? So it goes like this, remember. King, Nicholas, okay, so all the Nicholas out there, I'm talking about you. King Nicholas can make apple, zapple, you know, the drink zapple, for his concubine. Okay, some of you do not understand what is the word concubine, Miss Jess, ah, okay, uh, last time King got the King's. All the king have a lot of has a lot of lot a lot of wives. Okay, so they call them concubines. Okay, King Nicholas can make apple apple for his concubine. Concubine name very special, called Agong. Ta da da da. Okay, so if you can remember this in this order, it makes sense to you. Okay, not yet ah. After that, you separate them into first three. Draw a line. I'm going to use the white color one so that we can see it clearly. Okay. First three, draw a line. Hydrogen here, we segregate them, so we separate them. Alright? And then, we draw four columns. Four columns. One, two, three, last column, four columns. So there are total four, four columns here. Now, the four, four columns doesn't make sense to you if you do not have their title. The title goes like this. You will learn about the metal's reaction with first water. Let me use the green color so that you make more sense. First with water, followed by steam. Then we have the dilute acid. Lastly, concentrated acid. Can you see the change that I have put up in this entire table? Water is the most mild one, okay, followed by steam. What is steam compared to water? Well, steam is actually water at 100 degrees Celsius. Can you see the increase in intensity? Then we have dilute acid. Then after dilute acid, we have the more concentrated acid because dilute acid is the mild acid. After dilute acid, we have concentrated acid. So this is the whole table that will show you the entire reaction of metals ranging from water all the way to concentrated acid. And that it will show you who is the most reactive one. The most reactive metals are those on top. The least reactive metal are those below. Now, reactivity of a metal depends on what? So this portion here, I'm going to give you the, the explanation to it. Now, remember, I explained to you before, when you look at the periodic table itself, we drew the staircase. This side are your metals, this side are non-metals. So when I come up with this entire table, some of you will be wondering, what determine who is most reactive? Well, if you remember under ions, I mentioned before, the reactivity of an element depends on how easy they lose or how easy they gain their electrons. For metals, what makes metal metal? Their ability to what? Lose what? Electrons. So, if I say this is the most reactive, meaning potassium is the, has the most ability, or I should say, is the easiest to lose that electron. Therefore, it makes potassium the most reactive in this table.